Hi, welcome back to the N4 Learning Channel. I've just done some graphics for the uh, three pump pump rotation, and I've set the pump rotation for every hour, and it's got three minutes left, and we're running on output pump A at this moment in time. So, if you remember, about two or three videos we basically made a pump rotation using a rotational load sequencer and we added all these blocks to it I can get rid of that block there and I've added the rotational interval so it's just a numeric writable and then we multiply that by 3, 6, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros, I believe it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah, 5 zeros. To give us our milliseconds for the rotational interval. And we've set that to 1 hour. We've got our feedback delay on 10 seconds. And these are our feedbacks from our pumps. And these are our run times on our pumps. And then that's our manual rotate. And I've also put that on the graphic. So rotate load there. Uh, one time remaining on two pump changes. One minute, 59 seconds. Because it's every hour. And I added some graphics to it. So that's running. So that's pump A. And then so on. So well, I think what I'll do is... Let's just duplicate them. And we'll put that as pump A. Which it is anyway. And pump C. And pump B. So we just give them some titles. So we're 57 seconds before we're going to rotate. Now the next pump that's going to be rotated is actually B. So you will see that this will start and this will stop. We'd probably be better putting in our logic some uh, off delays. So we'll basically we'll have two pumps running for a period of say 30 seconds or 40 seconds. views AX wire sheet what I mean by that is if we take in a timer and a boolean delay it's already just changed over now so you see the pump B is now changed over to A so uh, pump A uh, delay And we'll do an off delay. In fact, we'll do an off delay of one minute. So there'll be, when we're changing over, there'll be two pumps running for at least one minute. And we can just delete that out not and duplicate that. Pump B. And duplicate that for pump C. And we can put that into there, put that into there. So the off delay is done. So let's have a look at the graphic. Yeah, pump B is now running. Pump A is not, and pump C isn't.
There's a lot you can do with this. We can make it a lot better. But um, you just, as you're going on, you will uh, improve it and improve it. I should be able to press that and rotate that again now. Yeah, so pump C is rotating. I don't know why pump A decided to rotate. Come and pump out A, next pump out load B. So I really don't know why that has decided to do its rotation. Unless we fade it twice. Yeah, we must have done because pump A is going to be the next one that's uh, these B and C. They're false. So we must have fired that twice by accident. Pump A is the next one that's going to be running again now. Alright, just just showing you the graphic really for this now. So that's the graphic done for it and uh, we can press the button to rotate it. And we've got the button here that we can select whether we'd run it one hour or 168 hours which is seven days. Alright, so that was a short video. Thank you for watching.